uh, and today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine. After my thrift haul, I got a lot of comments on my makeup, my highlight, my eyebrows, my eyeliner, and that is all shown in today's video. Just a little talking, get ready with me. I'm about to do a couple other things, film some errands. Film some errands. It's kind of like a talk, relax, get ready with me. I'll be doing a specific video on my eyebrows and maybe even a uh, beginner's guide to eyeliner if you guys are interested. So let me know by leaving a comment. Give this a like. Don't forget to subscribe because we just hit 20,000 and that's insane. I got a lot of views on my thrift haul and my sub count jumped from 14,000 to 20,000 in literally a week and a half and that was insane. To get that much response and feedback and comments and people saying they wanted to see more really kind of motivated me to be to make better videos. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling, so if you guys wanna see my everyday makeup routine, then just keep watching. So I haven't done anything to my skin besides put on a couple acne blemish treatments on my spots right here and here, just to make sure that they're not gonna get fully filled up with foundation. They're kind of gonna be already moisturized with that stuff. So I'm starting off with this. Nor Skin Pure Mineral Illuminating Foundation from this really cool company actually, it's really cute. I had to choose the color online, I was really um, nervous because it's hard to color match, but it actually turns really well. I'm actually a big fan of this foundation because previously I've only been limited to drugstore foundation because I'm a girl on a budget, I haven't had the time or the money to get color tested at a nice counter for a $70 foundation because it's not realistic for me. So I was like, I'm just gonna order one online that's pretty cheap, and so I picked this one and it actually matches me really well so that's my first step is applying this and i'll just take it with my fingers and spread it on my face under my eyes at first look at this i go on my cheeks too a little my chin and then mostly on my forehead because that's where i have my most problem with like acne and stuff but i am filming a skincare routine after this so i'll just take my beauty blender it's actually not it's actually really gross or not, even though I just washed it, and I'm just gonna blend this in like normal. I'll take special time to do underneath my nose because it's six seasons, so under my nose is really dry from blowing my nose so many times. And this often results in myself getting makeup on the tissues at school, but in the morning before I have to blow my nose, my foundation looks really even. Take it a little bit down on my neck because I'm not going to be a girl that has lines. And actually today I will use concealer because the ends of my eyes get really, really dark. So I'm just going to put it right on the edge of my eyes like this. Because for some reason that is a big problem area for me. Now that my foundation is done, I like to go in and set, but first I actually set just my under eyes. I've noticed that my under eyes crease a lot. I uh, set my under eyes because it's important to do that because my under eyes get really oily first. And I do this rather than just generally sweeping it over because getting in there really makes a difference. I notice throughout the day with my under eye circles and if my under eyes are creasing or not. So I do it below and then I just go above to provide a base for any eyeshadow if I wear any, which I normally do not, but just in case. Now that my eyes are done, I'm gonna do the rest of my face, and lately I have been loving this loose powder. It's Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in Light 01. I'm actually running out, so I need to get more, but this doubles as a setting powder and a baking powder, because it just works so well. And so I have to like hit it a lot to get stuff out, but then I get powder. And then I'm just gonna go about blending into my face and mattifying the rest. This powder can be really messy though, I'm warning, because it is loose, so if you get too much on the brush, you'll put it on, and like half of it will fly into your clothes. So that's definitely a risk when getting ready in the morning. And then I like to bake just the middle of my forehead because that's where I get A, the most oily, and B, where my acne stands out the most. So this way, it kind of mattifies that and prevents oil, and then also, it lessens the look of bumps and makes my skin look way more even. Not like an extreme bake, obviously, just like a little bit of powder. I'm moving on to contouring with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in 720A Sunny. I've had this for like 5,000 years and it's still is an awesome bronzer. I actually like it better than my NARS bronzer. The consistency of it and it's also super cheap and affordable for anyone else. I've been using this since I was in 8th grade. Still an OG bronzer, I like it a lot. And I just do my cheekbones and a little bit on my temples. I 
It is February, so I'm not going for that contoured look because obviously no one's tan, it's winter. But just a little bit of color to add definition to my face because without it, I look a little flat from the front. You can tell the difference. I also don't contour with a contour brush. I contour with a blush brush because I feel like it evenly disperses the product all around the top more than a contour brush would. Just a personal preference, doesn't really matter though. And once it's evenly blended, I normally like to take a little bit of my loose powder again and shake it out like that. Like that. And that will bake off so it is even. And I'm moving on to eyebrows, but I'm not gonna spend a whole time explaining this because I'm, a, I'm actually filming an eyebrow routine in a few days, so I wanted to just make sure to separate the two. I just first brush them out. I've been using this also for so, so, so long. It's the e.l.f. Eyebrow Palette in the shade Medium. Comes with a little bit of powder and then a gel. And I use the gel with the little tiny baby brush to outline my brows. Once again, so affordable, so nice. This is, I guess, my equivalent to the Anastasia Dip Brow or the Brow Pomade. I think it works just as well, just as great. And it's also like $4, so it's obviously saving you a lot of money. And you can see the difference in my brow like already like instantly. I just blend out with my finger. Like so. It looks really weird on camera. I swear it doesn't look as weird in person. Now I'm filling them in with my Lorac palette and my angled brush, which I just take the shade Sable, which is like a light this one. I used to film with the Espresso, but that was way too dark and it was definitely, definitely not my color. You could really tell it was really bad. That's like middle school makeup. Not good, not a look, not good. I just take this and fill in my brows using quick, short strokes. Once my brows are even, then I'm taking this crusty dusty eyebrow gel. This is it's so worn out. I literally just got this and it's already gross, but focus on the outer half of my brows just to make sure they'll stay in place. When I put this in the front half, it makes them look spiky and weird and really too much. So I just do the back half of my brows. Now it is time for the hardest part of a makeup routine. That's my eyeliner. Eyeliner's hard, let me tell you, and I've started wearing winged eyeliner every single day because I like the way it makes my eyes look wider, I like the way it looks, it's clean, it's cut, it's awesome, but the wings don't always look the same. Some days I'll have long skinny ones, sometimes they'll be a little shorter, sometimes they're really even, other times I'm like, I have two minutes to get ready, I really don't care. And sometimes I have to wipe them off and redo them like 20 times. It really depends. I don't know how this is going to be. I use the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. It's just a felt tip that comes out of a pot. I really, really like this eyeliner. I had the Tarte one for years and it kept drying out. It was nice and small, but it wasn't the best. And this is the best eyeliner that I've ever had. And it's drugstore, so it's really cheap. And this is awesome. It's so black. It's so small. It's like so precise. I love it. I got a lot of comments on my eyeliner in my thrift haul and so I'm going to show you guys how I do a winged eyeliner and if you guys want a more specific video like how to do step by step then you just leave me a comment and I will try to do it. First start by doing the wing and then I line the rest of my eye so we're going to see how this goes. I'm really scared. This one's decent. Then I will do the other eye and match it to the best of my ability. Obviously, there's no way it's gonna be perfect. But I can sure try. Those are pretty close and I'm happy with them, so I'm just gonna let them let them live. At this point, I'll take my brush and blend out the excess powder that we put here a while ago. Powder we were baking with. I'll just flick it off like this. Now we're moving on to eyes. So mascara, I'll just curl my lashes first with this. So I'll go in with a layer of CoverGirl Clump Crusher to lengthen my lashes and really separate them. I go over the front like this and then I go behind the back of the lashes because it adds a lot. And I'll also take this one and I will do my bottom lashes with it like this. Ta-da. Then, I need to Lash Sensation Mascara for volume and to make my lashes look thicker individually. 
and I will take this and go over the front and the back. I got a lot of questions on my video about what highlight that I use. I actually use a eyeshadow palette and I mixed a couple shades together to create a highlight. I feel like it has better density and like strength of color when I use eyeshadows because they're meant to stay on longer I guess than a highlight. So I take four colors from my Lark and Mega Pro palette. Any shimmery color is really going to work. These right here, I take Sugar, Chiffon, Prosecco, and then Moonlight, which all range from yellow to pinky to white shades of shimmer to get that perfect highlight. And I take it on actually a contouring brush from Urban Decay, but it's actually very densely packed. So I'm getting a lot of highlight from this. So I have my brush, and then I'll do my nose, my nose like right on the tip. My last step is applying my favorite lip product ever, ever, ever. It's the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I've been wearing this for forever. It's my number one. It's I like the color payoff. The formula is very not sticky. It's very buttery, hence the name Butter Gloss. And I don't use any kind of setting spray, so this is literally it. And it normally takes like 10 minutes instead of like an hour. I just want to make sure that I did everything and then sitting on the bed. It's really hard to film makeup, that's why I don't do it as much. But pants also have uh, space cats on them. Oh my gosh, so my phone. Why am I obsessed with space cats?